It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Dirty Birds and the Bucks, and it's coming up next. This is a city that's hosted more Super Bowls than almost anybody else. And, uh, oh yeah, Brock, they've won a couple of their own along the way, too. We're in the home of the Buccaneers, Tampa, Florida, and Raymond James Stadium. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over, have seen a lot at this point in their career, and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience, more than likely is going to come away with the win. Ball is teed up. Chase McLaughlin to do the honors. And we're off from Tampa. There's Avery Williams on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So I don't have the Falcons for their first possession. And leading them out in his 13th season out of Michigan State is Kirk Cousins. Well over a decade it started in this league, and Kirk Cousins put up some prolific numbers. The thing that's eluded him despite all the stats with those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason victories. I think Kirk, his family, and everybody rooting for him. It's the final chapters of his career that contain some of those. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now. From the 29. Pass is caught. That's Darnell Mooney. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Ball on the 45. First and 10. Play action now for Cousins. Throw left side, complete. And it's going to be about a three-yard pickup in the end. Yaya Diaby brings him down. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second down now, seven to go. Out of the gun, Cousins. It's into the hands of Mooney. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Buccaneers territory. Sure showed off some mobility on that play. Got outside the pocket and easily found an open man. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Robinson on the inside give. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. So often, one of the things you have to teach running backs at the NFL level, you don't always have to hit a home run. Especially in short yardage situations, just go get that single and move the chains. Opening drive, about to break into field goal range. We got first and 10 at the 44. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. you got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They can revisit that play in the future. On second down, Robinson, and he's brought down for a ball. You know how we hear about teams and quarterbacks avoid targeting a stud quarterback, just throwing away from them? Well, maybe they should avoid running it anywhere near this guy. He's having no issue stopping these plays cold. And for the Buccaneers, it's a nickel look. Third down coming. Let's come in here. Cousins. Able to hit Robinson. Complete. And this one's right down to the 33 before being stopped. 
It's a gain of 12 there. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Great opening drive continues. First and 10 at the 33. From the gun, it's Robinson. And he's going to manage a lone yard on that drive up the gut. Levante David, like so many times in his career, making that tackle. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. And he's not quite that fast. Let him just a bit too much. That's incomplete. Successful, and they have third down here. Trying to throw here out of the gun. They didn't break how they wanted it, so he throws this away. You know, Kate, that was one of those situations where you hear a quarterback having a clock, right? You know, and he ended up time in the pocket, but then it was like, okay, time is running out, and I got to do something. You did not force a throw and risk a pick. Instead, he just got rid of it and cut his losses. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Tucker now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. There's just certain quarterbacks, the way they run on the field. You just say their name and just some adjectives and attributes pop up right away. For Baker Mayfield, scrappy tough a will to win i'm not surprised at all to see himself back in the starting role not surprised at all to see an exciting play lost because of that penalty. This offense now left to think of their next call as they make the long walk back down the field. Baker now from the gun. That's complete, Mike Evans. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Some early movement on the left side there, but was he the first to go? Or was he provoked? One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Running it after the penalty. And that hit stops him in his tracks. Call it no gain on the play. And that brings up third and nine. From the gun, Mayfield. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. 
You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? We chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Box ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camarda runs on to punt it. And hey, at least he held on to the football, but they will get nothing on that return. So no return on that punt. And the Falcons will take over. Onto the field comes the Atlanta offense for the second time. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. That's brought in by Moody. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give the quarterback a chance. Second down now, seven to go. There's a counter give to Robinson. He's able to drive that pile of nine yard. Yaya Diaby brings him down. Just one yard on the play, though. That leaves him with third down and six to go. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up the defense. Keep working on them, keep working on them. And eventually, you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. Going on third, Cousins. Throw wheeled in by London. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You've got to be cognizant of where the line to gain is. You can't run that route short, and you certainly can't throw it. That route's just not deep enough. Needed to extend it closer to the chains for a first down. So with the Falcons set to punt on fourth, on comes Bradley Pinion. He feels this at the 18. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. That punt gets up to 59 yards. And the Buccaneers will get set to go on offense. They're out and set, first and ten. Off the play fake, here's Mayfield. This one's taken in by Otten. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. First and ten, it's a give to White. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Lorenzo Carter there to bring him down. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. From the 42. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Motion man sent left. Third down, here's Mayfield. Corner connects across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. No luck finding his receiver that time. And that brings up fourth and long. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Falcons will have plenty of work to do on their next drive. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Throwing his cousins. Hits him on the out route. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. 
That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Second and four. That one's complete to London. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. He gets six on that play. And the Falcons will have a first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. On first and ten, it's Cousins. He'll get this complete to Mooney. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First and ten are under Robinson. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. That stop made by K.J. Britt. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Here's Cousins. On the left side. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I'm sure Coach, the play caller, doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Loose set of downs for him from the 46. Here's Robinson up the middle. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Levante David, like so many times in his career, making that tackle. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Easy call for the officials there. He was off signs at the snap, and that's going to cost him. Offense to the line for second down. They'll run here following the penalty. He's coming out back for a modest four-yard gain. That's Antoine Winfield Jr. up to make that play. So that's one quarter gone in a battle of NFC South rivals. Just a field goal separates these two. More from Raymond James Stadium coming up after the break. Back for our second quarter. It's Falcons football. They're moving it well, but now face a third and short. Another carry for Robinson. And they take him down right along. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. These aren't the plays that will lead highlight reels, but they're the ones that win you ball games. What a nice game by the back. And now his offense can go in any number of directions on first and ten. First and ten now from the 30. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. So second down coming up. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Throwing again on second and ten, Cousins. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So now it's going to be third and long. Pretty easy to see here. He just simply takes off before he gets full possession, and that is a drop. It's kind of like when a receiver gets a handoff. You've got to secure the ball first before you can make anything else happen. I think that was a 
score, okay, it just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. So now on fourth down, the Falcons electing to send Young Hui Ku after the field goal. From the right hash, it's a 47-yarder. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that one was beautifully struck. It goes right down the middle. Out to kick it away. Here's Pinion. Bucky Irving now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Here come the Bucks on offense now. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. You know, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Running on second with White. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Complete beyond the marker. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. field now from the gun that won't be caught outright it's incomplete that play right there Kate that just goes to show you you can't take any completion for granted even some of the shortest passes in the game plan no dice on that prior pass here's second down throwing again is Baker this is caught by Trey Palmer. And a nice game here, but it stops for the first. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century, and it's a play that works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. Third down, one yard to go. They'll send him over right. Looking to throw on third and one. He has Set it down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Baker throwing again. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding calls. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. Mayfield to throw again. On target to Godwin. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. A.J. Terrell making that stop. You know, I I've learned over the years, defensively, they call that the camera club. How many different guys can get rallying to the football? So that last shot you see on camera, you see as many defenders keeping that to a zero-yard gain. That's well done defensively. Evans, the motion man here. Here we go, second and very long. And that one is dropped. Such great work to get all by himself. 
but he can't haul in the gimme, and that deep shot is missed. Wow. Intended target there was Mike Evans. And things look tougher now with third and long. Baker now from the gun. He puts some air under this one, deep right. He's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Tampa So no mistake in that play call, Brock. They send everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And they'll take the lead. And he's ready to send this fly. Here comes Williams on the return. He's got a lane up past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. Out of the field runs the Atlanta offense. And they brought out their kicker for a field goal, their last possession. It's time they'll look to bring him out for an extra point instead. Putting the tight end in motion. First play, they go quick out to the left, complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Snap now to Cousins. And that's away for the pass rush. Shizzy throw it leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. You've got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. Bradley Kenyon on down to punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. That's taken at the 15. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And it's going to be their football coming up. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Running back sent in motion. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin on that play. And now it's second down. From the gun, a run for White. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. Motion in one of the tight ends. To the air, third and long. Really fired that one, but they couldn't connect. One he knows he should have had. And they're up against it. Fourth down coming up. So many coaches love third downs and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? 
because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And he collects the fair catch just inside the 35. We don't get a return out of that punt. And they'll get ready to go on offense. They'll run the draw with Robinson. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. As a play caller kid, I would always be a little cautious of a first down draw. I like it better when that defense is anticipating pass and they were only anticipating getting the backfield and making that running back feel the pain. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Out of the gun. Cousins. Got a man. It's London. And he's cut after a game of about two. That stop made by K.J. Britt. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. To the air, Cousins. Throw wheeled in by London. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Set of downs for him from the 46. First down throw for Cousins. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. That throw was looking for Kyle Pitts. So it's second down coming up. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. Escapes a defender. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and 10. Here's Cousins. That's a nice job there by the linebacker. He really looks like a quarterback on there, doesn't he? Perhaps those cover guys got a little fun with him to practice this week because he looked like a DB right there, swatting the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. This is Robinson. And his drive up the middle gets him about three. That's Antoine Winfield Jr. up to make that play. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They have themselves another first and ten. They kick the running back in motion. On first and ten, it's Cousins. He'll get this complete to Mooney. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's a handoff for Algier. And he'll go down shy the end zone. They mark him at the four. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out.
throwing his cousins. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. The Falcons take a second quarter lead. Kyle Pitts with the touchdown. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock. And there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Now, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough, borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route, just like a receiver would, and it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. Young Hoi Koo on for the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Falcons push their lead to six. Now to kick it away, here's Pinion. Tucker now on the return. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he brought this one almost to midfield before he's tackled. The Buccaneer offense back out for another series. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. First down, here's Baker. He sends this one in the end zone. And he can't hang on to it in the end zone. Not in interception. Only an incompletion, so they get it back. Second down coming up. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the gun, Mayfield. That's him on a quick hitter. And he gets it through the midfield stripe and onto the Falcons' side of the field. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. And that one hits the deck. No fear from them trying to go deep on third down. You love that. Don't love the fact they couldn't connect. Fourth down coming up. You know, I love this, Kate, from an offense. Just philosophically, stretching that secondary out with your tight end. Even still, one of the deeper targets you're going to see him get. It's a shame they couldn't quite connect. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And that is how you get a team deep. That hits and careens out of bounds at the three. The Falcons and Kirk Cousins headed back out to the field now. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll run it with Bijan. And they're on him after about a two-yard gain. That's stop made by K.J. Britt. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. As an offense in these situations, Kate, you can feel your own goal line, and you're not going to risk putting the ball in the air. So that means you're going to run it, and you're going to buy whatever breathing room you can in. Staying with Robinson. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. The Falcons spend the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. This close to your own goal line, they really don't want to risk a sack. That means, well, one option, run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. Looking at a tough spot to punt it away if this third down is unsuccessful. Cousins. I'll tell you this, Kate. That's that's we gotta be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute both the protection and ultimately completing that ball. They certainly want that play called back. The Falcons get ready for the punt. 
And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. Fair catch is made a yard or two short of midfield. No return on that punt. And it'll be their football. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. That's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. Tried to find Mike Evans with that throw. And it's going to be second down. That's somebody they're going to look for if he has any space deep. That space, though, Kate, just disappeared between when he let that pass go and when he actually made it down the field. Second down, Mayfield the pass. That's to his back. Here's Rashad White. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. Mayfield now from the gun. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he's going to be across midfield close to the 45 before going out. Awareness. You've got to be aware. Play caller, quarterback, receiver have to be aware of where the sticks are. They're out just not enough, not deep enough to extend the drive and move the chains. Tampa Bay in punt formation now. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. The Falcons and Drake London headed back out onto the field. And as he accumulates catches this season, Brock, some have stuck out to us more than most. And we have one of them on that last drive as he's reached a significant milestone for himself this year. He just kept going backward, trying to find an escape, and that just got tougher and tougher to watch, Brock, as it went. Such an empty feeling for a quarterback because you're trying to keep the play alive. But let me give some credit yeah. to the defense here because it takes swarm, it takes attack, it takes all of them to finally get to the quarterback, and they're rewarded with two pretty big points. So after the safety, we're going to see a free kick from the 20-yard line. He carries this at the 17. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. The Bucs getting their offense out there just before halftime. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. Just 25 seconds remaining as they get all set up for first down. Baker out of the pistol. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Not taking any risks here, keeping this one on the ground. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. So now here's third and five. Throwing Baker. He'll get this complete to White. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Timeout called by Atlanta. That's going to be at second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Jake Camarda on the punt. And this is the fifth time he's been called upon today. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And he's got this fair catch right along the 12-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And hardly any time remaining for them in this game. Yep, as expected. They go to the ground to start this one off. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. 
We've reached the midway point of this game. The visiting Falcons taking a lead into that locker room. Now we'll keep it in the state, but send you a couple hours away to our buddy in Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports halftime report. With that, the two squads are headed out of the tunnel. So let's get you back out. Kate Scott and Brock Ewer. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Now to kick it away, here's Pinion. On the return, here's Irving. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Buccaneers getting their offense set to go to begin the third. They'll try to get that ground game established better than they did in the opening half, Bronx. See if they can attack that deficit. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. On target to Godwin. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Baker now from the gun. This one is hit by a defender and winds up incomplete. Intended target there was Mike Evans. And now they need to get four on third down. The ability to track the ball. Right, ball skills isn't just knocking it away, and that's a beautiful job there, Kate. But ball skills is also being able to track a ball on a deeper throw like that. If he doesn't swat it away, we're looking at a huge game. Third and short, Mayfield. And the streak continues. Another one hits the ground. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. The Buccaneers out and into punt formation. And this is going to put him up to six punts today. He has it at the 22. And he's brought down before the return gets far. 58 yards on the punt there. And the Falcons will take over. The Falcons ready for their next possession. They've got first down from the 31. Play action now for Cousins. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So it'll be second down. during draft season I was talking to an NFL GM and he said you know what in time we're going to realize tackles for loss are just as big a deal as sacks sacks get so much of the popularity tackles for loss when you knock that offense backwards I promise you in time we'll be keeping a closer eye on plays like that one throwing on third Cousins he's going to lock one deep to the left he deserves to avoid it he knocks away the deep ball incomplete when a defender can get his hands on a pass and not get away in any way, that's usually good things for the defense. They're out now, ready to punt it. It'll be Bradley Pinion doing the honors. Takes this in at the 25. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. That punt gets up to 59 yards. And the Buccaneers will get set to go on offense. They've got first down from the 31. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Escapes the pocket. Now he takes it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. 
try the right side with White. And he'll get out to the 44. That one ends up a gain of six. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Find me an offense that won't take that type of result every snap. Good execution, a quality gain, and then move the sticks. From the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Here's Mayfield. This ball's cut by Palmer. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Baker now. Called in by Godwin. And he's taken down at the 30. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. He's on the move. He tucks it and takes it off. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs. But so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Here's second and five. Got Evans. It's complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. From the red zone now. This finds Evans complete. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. You know, Kate, it's almost as if the defense invited him to make that throw. That was a play they knew they could defend, and they stopped it right at the line. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Pressure coming, Baker. It's into the hands of White. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when, just find unique ways to get this running back the ball, and over time, he's going to make you pay. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. They put a receiver in motion right. Third down, here's Mayfield. Quite the strike to his tight end, and the patience he showed waiting for that to break open. That was awesome, and it's rewarded with six. You know, it should be simple, Kate, right? In, in philosophy, it should be simple. Just plaster that big guy. Throw bodies at him in coverage, but stopping a tight end near the end zone is anything but simple with how deceptively good they are as route runners and finding that football when it arrives. So we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to see if this was indeed a touchdown. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? No change to the call on the field, so that play is going to remain a touchdown. The Boston's extra point is up and good. And the Buccaneers push their lead to three. and he's ready to send this fly. On the return, here's Ray Ray McLeod. He stopped on the return at the 27. Here's Atlanta, ready to take over possession. 
And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the puncher, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Motioning the tight end now. First down throw for Cousins. Short pass brought in. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Move the chains. Gotta move them chains. Score momentum. Keep that defense on its heels. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Robinson on the inside give. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Here's Robinson. Breaks the tackle. Green grass ahead. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Robinson. And he's charged towards the line. That's right around three yards. Well, no springing a big play on that one. It's just going to simply be used as a setup play. Whether that's another run or eventually what I love, setting up a play action pass off that counter action. Second down now, seven to go. Out of the gun, Cousins. That's him on a quick hitter. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's in the first. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first and 10, it's Cousins. Got a man, it's London. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Now Cousins again. Throw wheeled in by London. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Falcons will have a first. And he has enough room to gain about four. Second and six coming up here. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. with a touchdown his second scoring catch of the game the impact this guy has had on this game Brock has been massive they'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns yeah that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances puts him in front here in the second half and puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense Who 
on now for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Falcons take a four-point lead. To kick it away, here's Pinion. Tucker now on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. The Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield ready for this next possession. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. They're out and set, first and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. And he's brought down for a loss. Hey, Kate, sorting through traffic, seeking out a runner. That is this guy's domain. And boy, does he know how to operate in it. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Mayfield now from the gun. That's going to be caught by Evans. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Here they come. This is third and five. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. That one gains seven. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. It's Buccaneer football. They trail, but it's still within reach for them. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. First and 10. It's a give to White. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Ooh, I like that call. I really, I really like it with those sticks you can keep on the sidelines and you get more than enough to get the first down. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Finds his man, it's Godwin. And he's brought down at the line. Well, the defense was ready for that throw, stopping him right in his tracks, right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Baker now from the gun. On target to Godwin. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. First down, ball at the 36. From the gun, Mayfield. Bails out of the pocket quick. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. Play fake. It's Mayfield. Right side. Ball name by Godwin. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains.
Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Here's Baker. Completes this one to Otten. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 17. He brings it in. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. A nice gain of 8 there, and it brings them to first and goal. You just got to love that angle, right? It's been around a long time, but think about it defensively, Kate. How many times do you see the backs out of the backfield or just run to the flat? The great running backs know how to plant their foot, sell that flat route, break it off to an angle, and break off the first down. Mayfield to throw again. Pass it down close. And that's a Tampa Bay touchdown. So that brought an important score here as they move out in front. You know, Kate, this is the time of the game where fatigue starts to set in every once in a while. But that right there was a determined-looking drive. They were not going to be denied and able to score and take the lead. Missed to go up by a field goal here in the fourth. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Buccaneers push their lead to three. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. McLeod now returning it. Good looking return here, and he's got room. This return makes it up to the 37 as he's tackled. Here's the Falcon offense headed out. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. And he gets a few on the punch forward. quickly so now here's third and five shotgun snap looking to throw and this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game that one intended for Drake London and that leaves them with fourth and five. Oh, that's a major missed opportunity right there. Coverage can breathe a little sigh of relief. They dodged the bullet. Time to adjust and get some extra help on the back end to take away those open shots downfield. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Buccaneers are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. This one's taken in by Otten. And he pushes it up across the 30 before going out. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Got to win the man in motion left. From the 30 on second down. And that one looked like an interception for a second. Instead, it's incomplete. 
defender couldn't hang on to it. Third down coming up. Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. Third down run from White. And he'll get them enough for a first down. That is some old-school brutality. An offense close to a first down, a defense that knows there's a run headed right its way. In a battle of wills, the offense gets it done. Ball at the 33 for first down. They bring the tight end in motion. First down, here's Baker. He's on the move. Sheds up a rusher. Oh, look at this, here he goes. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB, and it gave him just enough room to run. Second and six coming up here. the magic he worked after the catch the way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage markers reset ball at the 37 the give now to white and he's tackled for a short game only two yards and it brings up second and eight Here's Mayfield. He'll get this complete to White. And take him down right along the 30. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it, to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. All plays on the table here for third and three. Baker now. with a decision to make on fourth and short. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. Tracking for it, and it's good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one-score ball game. After I'd imagine dozens and dozens of kicks into that net on the sideline staying warm, Kate, he finally gets his chance to knock a field goal through the uprights. And of course, he wasn't going to whiff on that opportunity. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. McLeod now returning it. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Now here come the Falcons on offense. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, Cousins. Finds London on the slant. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. They get 13 on the pickup. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down throw for Cousins. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Couldn't 
connect on first. It's second down. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. It's one thing as a running back to move those chains on the ground. Well, that's what you get paid for. You want to get paid a little bit more? Move those chains as a receiver as he just did. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Court can find Kyle Pitts on their throw. And now they need to get four on third down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. To throw. Short pass brought in. And this is down all the way to the three. The Falcons spend the first of their three timeouts. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. Turn it over on downs. A 
Again, right side to White. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. And with four seconds remaining, they're going to take a timeout. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here's White again. Breaking through the 15, into the second level. Back in Washington in your college days, always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a